The joy of every snail farmer is to get their snails grow up to this point, the jumbo size. And this you can achieve whether you are operating the free range system or the intensive concrete pen system. The general struggle is to get the eggs to hatch and the snails to grow exponentially up to this point, the jumbo size. And this you can achieve by understanding the basic principles behind the combination of different feed ingredients to meet up with the snail's requirements. That's why in this video, I'll be teaching you and giving out tips to consider whenever you want to formulate the snail feed, whether you want to do it in the small scale or on a commercial scale. So, remember to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to enjoy more useful content I'll be uploading on this channel. So, without wasting much of our time, let's go! In order to efficiently formulate the snail feed, you need to have an idea of the snail nutritional need, the feeding habit of the snails and also the digestive system of the snails. Whoa, too complex to know, right? Well, the channel is known for simplicity. So in simple terms, all these you can actually discover by studying the body composition of the snails. The snail body is made up of highly proteinous muscles, which means the snail feed to be formulated should be highly proteinous, having around 24% crude protein. Don't worry, I'll be giving out tips on how to go about that as we go on in the video. And also, the other part of the snails is made up of the shell. And the shell contains about 30% of the total body weight of the snails. That means the snail feed should contain lots of calcium sources. Some of the calcium sources include eggshell, oyster shell, wood ash, the one gotten after the complete combustion of wood. The kind of calcium source to use should depend on the abundance and the availability in your area. But in this video, I'll be using the snail shell, bone meal and limestone. I'm using these three particular calcium sources because they are the available ones as at when I was formulating the feed. So it doesn't really matter the kind of calcium source you are using. All you need to understand is the chemical composition so that you know the amount of calcium present in individual calcium source so that you know the inclusion level. But the one I can't do without is the snail shell because this contains calcium in the exact chemical composition as it is in the snail shell. And to know how to process this, I will be releasing the link in the description box below to the video where I showed how to process the snail shell into the calcium source. So do well to check that and view that after you view this video. So let's continue. Having gotten the various calcium sources right, in order to boost the growth rate of the snails and to buffer the shell formation process of the snails, you need to add some additives, some vitamins and mineral premixes which will enhance the rate at which the shell will grow and you need some vital amino acids which will also boost the growth rate of the snails and other additives which will reduce the toxins in the feed making it safe for the snails and elongating the storage period of the feed. Various protein-rich ingredients of plant origin that can be used to step up the protein level of the snail feed include soybean cake, palm kernel cake, granite cake. All these cakes are waste products gotten after the oil has been extracted in various industries. A good energy source in snail feed is maize. You can also use other grains, but maize shouldn't be used more than 10% by mass while formulating snail feed because snails don't require much energy content in their feed. Too much energy in the snail feed will lead to bloat which will eventually kill the snail in short period of time. And for easy digestion and easy movement of food within the snail digestive system, you need a fiber source in your snail feed. And a good fiber source in the snail feed is the rice brown or other related feed ingredients highly rich in fiber. Okay, you might be wondering where to get all these feed ingredients in one place. Well, that's where the feed meal and the tow millers come into play. The feed meal is a place with various feed ingredients available and you can simply go there with your feed formula, give it to them and they formulate following the specifications in the formula you give them. 
In order to formulate a proper snail feed, you might need the help of an animal nutritionist to help and guide you through the feed formulation process and if you think this is too cumbersome for you to handle yourself, you can get the finished snail feed from a trusted snail expert around you. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to enjoy more useful content I'll be uploading in the future on this channel. Till next time, a peace.